Today on Cooking Made Easy with June, we'll help you deal with all those Thanksgiving leftovers like ham or turkey. Hi, I'm June, the Happy Thai Girl, and we will be preparing turkey fried rice with bacon. That's coming right up on Cooking Made Easy with June. Welcome to Cooking Made Easy with June, brought to you by Macy's. Of course, I got everything at Macy's. The Food Club brand. I know that looks a little weird, but it's gonna be so, it's gonna be so awesome. But I'm going to make turkey fried rice. Now I know you, you know, you made a lot of fried rice, but um, with all your left thing, uh, leftover uh, Thanksgiving, like ham, some of you have ham, um, you can make this fried rice with uh, the ham or the turkey, or both, I think that would be awesome. Um, now the unique thing about this fried rice is, I don't know that a lot of people use bacon grease. I'm gonna fry up some bacon, it's so good. And a lot of uh, Thais, we do this, we use all the leftover, we don't uh, waste anything. Like our chicken, we take the skin and we fry it up and then we use that chicken fat and we save it for later and so I'm gonna start cooking up some bacon now fried rice honestly truly it is really a leftover food even in Thailand in the Asian countries we have any the left the rice left over from your meals um, and the leftover meats and you know we just throw it in there leftover veggies we just throw it in kind of like a big soup um, but it's fried rice so I remember my mom, we love, love leftovers. My mom, when um, she was, when we came to America, okay, I'm gonna look for a tongue. <laughs> All right, so when we came to America, I remember some, the, some of the most memorable um, dinners that we have, that we would have, the, uh, Thanksgiving, I mean, she would, I remember us looking out, well, she was pregnant with my brother, my little brother, and she would get so big, because she's only like 5'2", like I am. But we would hunt, we would hunt to like two or three stores looking for the biggest, biggest turkey. And I remember just looking, okay, 21 pounds, oh no, not enough. Let's see, the biggest one we have, you know? So, because we love leftovers. We used the leftover turkey, we would eat it with, um, the turkey meat with hot sauce and rice. We would make fried rice, not as much fried rice, but we would make, um, and they would make this uh, Thai turkey salad. And one day we'll have to show you how to do that. But. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could be here. Remember, you guys could be on my show if you would like to share any of your recipes because, and then you can come smell my, the food, you can taste the food. I don't know if you guys can smell and taste all the food here. But I love the walk. One of our cameramen, okay, Spencer, he thought walk was a brand. Well, walk is a walk. <laughs> it's a type of, the Chinese are ingenious. A type of pan. Okay, and you can look at it, the way it's curved, you can make soup, you can make uh, stir fries, and it doesn't fall out, you know, so it's, it's awesome. It's a, they use this for all their dishes. Oh my gosh, this turkey, I mean this bacon smells so great. Okay, so while I'm gonna let that sizzle a little bit, well, and I want it crispy, I'm going to crack some eggs. The nice thing about fried, this, the way I'm gonna show you how to make this fried rice is I'm going to cook the bacon, I'm gonna take the bacon out and I'm going to cook the eggs. There's different ways to do it, of course. I'm gonna cook the eggs first because I like the little chunks of egg. Now in Thailand, honestly, we really just throw the eggs in like this and just cook it with it. But I like to have the eggs, oops, here we go, a little bit chunky, okay? So let's fry the bacon. Now, when I fry bacon, I always remember when I, uh, I was in junior high, and again, my background is Thai, but I remember in junior high, we were in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I was required, back in those days, in the 70s, required to take home economics. And in home economics, we had to fry bacon. Isn't that funny? So we had to fry bacon. That was one of our mandatory things, is to learn to fry bacon. And what we do is, see, now I'm not doing this exactly right because what I need to do is I need to drain the oil, the bacon grease right now. And um, does that, so that way we can have it less um, splattery, you know, like how that is. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and take these out because I have the middle cooked for the sake of time. We have enough oil in there and I'm, I'm gonna cook that up some more. We can add some more. Honestly, I should have probably cut it up and just 
do it that way too. So I might do that in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna just use my tong. <laughs> I'm gonna fry up some eggs. I'm gonna do it a step at a time and then I'm going to show you. Ooh, I love that sizzle. I'm gonna fry up this egg. I'm gonna put it into this bowl. So it's a quick fry. I don't know if you guys can see that. So when you're cooking the egg, see how the middle is still not cooked? We just move it around a little bit. Okay, we're not really scrambling it. We're kind of just, for aesthetic reasons, I like it to be just a flat frying like this. Okay, and it doesn't have to be completely well done. Okay, so that's about right. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into this bowl where we're gonna put everything into it. Okay, so, whoops, okay. So you see in there, I'm just gonna take my spatula and just chop it up a little bit. So it's not really scrambled, but kind of. Now, what I'm gonna do is, because I do want a crispier bacon and I need some more of a little bit more of the bacon oil, I'm gonna cut the ends that aren't done. Now you could do it different ways. Of course you can use leftover bacon and save the oil, but you don't have to. You can even use canola oil. But I just want to cook that up a little bit longer and save these crispy pieces for later too. Okay, so I'm gonna cook that up a little bit longer. Of course, and like I said, you can use canola oil if you're worried about the bacon fat. But for the sake of whatever this is, <laughs> It's so yummy. And you know, honestly, a lot of people on keto, they want the bacon fat, but then they can't have the fried rice. So I guess, you know what? I wonder if you could try the, I don't know what you could try to substitute the rice. I don't know. Some people say they have cauliflower rice. That's a possibility. You could cook everything up and then toss it into the cauliflower instead of into the rice. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this and cover it for a second. Okay, well that's doing that. I'm gonna. Move this aside and uh, mince the garlic. Let's put a little bit of garlic. Okay. So about back to my mom. One of the things, it doesn't have to do with the turkey, but she would look for the biggest turkey and the biggest watermelon. For some reason, I don't know, we had to always find the biggest water watermelon in the summer when it's watermelon season because she just loved watermelon. And she would be, I remember her being pregnant with my uncle, my brother, Billy. My kids call him Uncle Billy. And he, she would be so big and she would have this big watermelon, I'm not kidding, this big, and carrying it around. She would have to find, uh, in Thailand, the watermelons and the fruits are so awesome. They're so fresh because there's so many hot days. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so we're gonna use fresh garlic, of course. And so I have that simmering a little bit. That didn't take too long. I want it crispy. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because it's smoking up my house. Oh, look at that. Like I said, you can use uh, leftover bacon. Warm it up a little bit. There's not a lot of chopping and cutting, but you know. I, the reason why I'm taking the bacon out now is because I wanna keep it a little crispy, right? So we still have a little bit of oil, but I'm gonna add a little bit of canola just to add so we can brown the uh, garlic with it because I didn't have as much bacon. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss the garlic and brown that. And I'm also going to do this, my frozen peas and carrots. You don't have to like chop carrots. I love this. I love to have these on hand. They're so inexpensive, especially at Macy's. And so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll let the garlic brown a little bit. Now, if you would like to do ham, you can also um, go ahead. And this is when, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my turkey first. I'm gonna warm up my turkey. So look at all this delicious turkey that I have left over. You can keep it shredded or you can just chop it a little bit, like coarse chop it like this, okay? Just coarsely chop it. It's a lot of turkey. Okay, I'm, I think that's good. You can add, you can have more or less, 
turkey. I'm going to go ahead and brown this turkey in here. At this point, if you have ham, go ahead and put your ham in now, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and add my peas and carrots, however many you want. And just kind of warming up a little bit, give it a little flavor. Okay. Now, the reason why I love my own fried rice, I, I just, oh, I, I've been to the restaurants, I, my husband hates taking me to the Asian restaurants because I'm so picky, I'm sorry, but that's how it is. If I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna use the, eat the calories and I need to eat good food. Okay, so um, while I'm warming this up, we're gonna come back, um, we'll take a little break, we'll come back and we'll finish it up. It doesn't take long and then we'll have a, We'll talk a little bit more, and I, you know, I'm thinking, I always, I just can't do this by myself. I'm thinking, I need to have someone come and taste my fried rice. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I think we have a new cameraman here today. So come back, thanks. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Now, um, I warmed up the turkey, and I'm going to go ahead and move it again back over here because I don't want to overcook it, you know, because it gets too soggy or the texture is not quite the same. So I'm just going to need a different thing here. I have a story about my electric walk. Some people think, okay, oh, sorry, I'm going to add a little bit of more oil because we're going to add um, the rice now. I'll get that hot. Okay, so my story about my walk, electric walk is, I, I, I actually love my electric walk because um, it's so easy to clean and it's, it's just, you know, one pot <laughs> thing and uh, it seems to heat up faster than if I put a pan and onto my stove. So, and I went with, and I love my, my friends. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. We, I was in with a, we were, before I had children, we went on a double date and they were talking about Asian food and, and she was like, oh, who uses an electric walk? You know, because she was trying to say I, that I'm authentic, you know, that she's authentic. She doesn't use an electric walk. And I was like, uh, I held, I couldn't bite my, I couldn't hold my tongue. I said, well, I do. And I made her feel bad. I'm, I'll never do that again. Sorry, whoever it was. <laughs> but um, honestly, I, I think maybe with the modern day things, I, I love, um, I don't know why we don't take advantage of everything. So, and the walks, the electric walks have gotten really good now, especially this kind. It's a brevi bill, and it just heats up really well. Okay, so now I am warming up my rice. So, of course, you want to use, uh, make sure your rice is cold, and you want to use um, the cold rice, because it seems so it won't stick together. If you put warm rice, and you're trying to add all this stuff, it'd be too sticky. Okay, so I just kind of warmed it up a little bit there and I'm going to add my flavors my, to the rice because that's where the flavor is not there and of course there's no fat in the turkey so the flavor is not there. So I'm going to add a little bit of chicken broth and this is the secret, a lot of people don't know. <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. I'm going to just add a little bit of chicken paste here, about a half teaspoon and the recipe calls for actually a half cup of um, of uh, chicken broth, but I'm just going to add the chicken paste, and that's going to add a lot of flavor. And then I'm going to also add, to, I know in Thailand, even in Japan, they say a little bit of sugar is good for every, in the Japanese, I, my dad was in the military, so we actually live in Japan, they put a little bit of sugar in every, of all of their stuff too, so I'm going to also add a little bit of sugar. And that the recipe calls for two teaspoons of sugar, four tablespoons of soy sauce, which is about a quarter cup. And the, of course the rice is six cups. Oh, I miscounted. I think that's about, is that four? <laughs> okay, we can always taste it. And um, then we add a teaspoon of salt. I believe this is salt. I'm gonna make sure that's right, okay. And okay, a store about accent. In Thailand we use a lot of accent in everything, okay? But I only use like a half teaspoon. And it's optional, 
but it's only a carbohydrate. Unless you're allergic to it, it's not bad for you. It's just a carbohydrate. One of my um, nutrition classes I took at BYU, the advanced nutrition, I asked the professor, well, people just get paranoid because they think that um, it's really bad for you, of course, but in Asian countries, we dip it like salt. Too much of anything is bad. So a little bit in all your food is not bad. Okay. And what else? That's salt, sugar, accent, soy sauce. I think that's it, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna chop my green onion. I'm gonna turn this down a little, tiny bit. Okay, we're gonna talk about our guests. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna have different episodes, but we have these two cameramen here. We have Travis and Adam, and I'm gonna have them beside. I don't know. We had Spencer on, and he was awesome. But, you know, we gotta give everybody a little love. Everybody, we gotta spread the love around. The opportunity to be on the show, <laughs> to come and try my fried rice and talk about our guests. I love meeting people, new people, and so I don't know. So I have to be, I have to ask them what they want to do. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up really quick. I'm gonna turn this down. So that's all there is, really. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and bring this into here. I'm gonna return the eggs, the turkey, and the peas and carrots. Yum! Look at that. The rice is in there. We're gonna toss it all together. See, you have chunks of egg there. Anyone can make this. Okay. How easy is that? Turn it down lower. I'm gonna, oh, let's go ahead and add our bacon. <coughs> Excuse me, I got some pepper on me. Let's go ahead and add the bacon. I'm gonna add all the bacon, why not? Okay. That little piece is not, I don't, I like it crispy, so I'll take that one out. <laughs> and I'm gonna chop this up to garnish. So like I said, you guys, there's lots of ways. You could use, you can just use bacon. You don't need to add ham or turkey, but try the turkey and the ham. So I'm gonna add that right there and toss it up. Okay, when we come back, we're going to spend some time meeting our guest, whom I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Who feels like it? Who looks the most handsome today? Woo! <laughs> Is it Travis or Adam? We'll see about that. <laughs> so be, don't go away. Come back. We're going to have a taste test. All right, welcome back. Drum roll. Who is the handsomest man between Adam and Travis? Ta-da! Travis. <laughs> Our handsomest cameraman right now as, between the two. <laughs> as Aerosmith said, walk this way. Ah, oh, walk. <laughs> Maybe don't walk that way. Okay, these guys are really corny. Thank you for but having me. We're just <laughs> No, I'm I excited. Hope, I hope there's not a glare from my head. No, from there is not a glare. I have to look up though, so I don't <laughs> see it. <laughs> but, um, but Adam, we're not saying that you're not handsome, okay? So we don't are, feel though. bad. We're saying he's not. His wife. <laughs> nope. Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Honestly, the one of the reasons we want Travis because we we filmed the segments and between the past segments, between the takes, he is eating. Everything. <laughs> like it's just, no, it's fine. But it's good. We don't want skinny, the, skinny people the, to eat our food. The greatest no. part of this show, we set up the lights, we set up the cameras, <laughs> and then we eat. Yes. All the no. work, you do all the work, we just film it. Everybody so wants wonderful. to be here. So we're going to have to build an audience. Okay, Travis. Yes. And this is turkey fried rice. I don't think you've ever had turkey fried rice. I have not. And you've never had my fried rice. I have and never had your fried and rice. And you've never had bacon no. fried rice. And usually so, after the holidays, 
I mean, you're stuck with the, the you're stuck oh, with yeah. the stuffing Tell and the mashed potatoes, and it's really heavy. Yes. And I look at this, and it just looks light and yes. refreshing. Yes. You're, you're not going to feel <laughs> like you afraid. weigh like a house <laughs> a couple days after. And so. honestly, it's it's a different take. You know, it's not exactly. boring. The, the turkey sandwich, I know it's good. I love turkey sandwich. Don't get me wrong. Now, if you're just tuning in, watch the previous segment. The bacon sizzling in this wok. Oh, we could have just it ended good? there. We could have just eaten that. <laughs> but then you kept adding the eggs. And it oh. just, oh. It's I'm so excited. OK. okay. Now, oh, oh, oh. So what are these? These are chopped. I know so. what they are. Come on. OK. okay. So, uh, but I know you know how to do chops. So you said you is did. This, is this how but you do it? But the Japanese, yeah, but see, the, oh, the rice no. is not really thin. The Japanese take it and they shovel it up. But let me, you know what? Let me get something. But I love sriracha. Excuse me. I think shovel. I have some left. Oh, my gosh. I have to get some more. I'm almost out. I love this. this is, and this is actually Thai. And it's, um, <laughs> and you just, do, do you like spicy? You know what? Go ahead. You know what? It, this is, it's not that spicy, but I just, I'll give you a little bit here. It's, the, this is so good with rice. Okay. So you mix it first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little, little bit. Yeah, just taste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have do to make it. it. It's, it's pretty spicy. Okay, so you do, so I just shovel it in my face. No, let's That's take, what you. Take, yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, I'll, let me see if you know how to choose a well, chopstick. Well, first of all, the bacon is completely. <laughs> he doesn't know. To, I know. No, the right. It's grainy. Okay, no, go like this. And the Japanese, see, is well, not bad. I'm gonna try to shovel it in my mouth. Okay, now be honest. I'm serious. I like honest people about my food. Hmm. Ooh. Spencer, I hope you can hear it crispy in my mouth. Mm. That you is know, fabulous. This is actually the first time I've ever had turkey fried rice too. <laughs> because and I even, And even the sriracha. Yeah. It, it is, it Isn't is that just yummy? a nice. Ooh. I'm sorry. No, this is a. I don't know how to use this. <laughs> oh. I can't believe you did that to me. <laughs> that was fabulous. You don't see a struggle with the chopstick. I've been doing this all night, just, <laughs> just he shoving has it been. in my face. Oh my gosh, you see Seriously, the turkey bone. Seriously, this is the best job that oh. uh, anyone could ever have. Yeah, and my food, oh, come on you guys. <sighs> you guys, I'm not kidding. These recipes are awesome. I mean, they're really easy and I just, I, oh, the scone, the, well, I should, <laughs> a different episode. <laughs> different episode, you know, watch, episode. it's an anthology. You yes, it's an anthology. <laughs> But I love, there's just enough heat. The texture is, is mm. good. I mean, oh my goodness. You this. guys, and this like you can, like I said, use a ham. I'm mm -mm, just a big bite of turkey. Like cut, seriously. Cut. With the sriracha, get a close with that. Just a little <laughs> bit of sriracha there. You're trying to take over. You want to you wanna be the help. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of uh, Kitchen Nightmares with Gordon Ramsay lately. Oh, I don't like him. Oh, I love him, no. Gordon. I want happy shows. Oh, Don't go watch so it. Watch fabulous. us. <laughs> no, Maybe I'm just Gordon, kidding. We should have no, you I and like Gordon, Gordon. on show. Oh, he I don't know. He would love you. He would look at this and go. Yeah. No, he's so, oh. he's so picky. He's so picky. Of course he I is. I always that's, thought I was going to be one of those shows. That's what makes him so wonderful. Hmm. My wife okay. watches the, the British baking show. Mm. And they're all so polite. And they're always like, oh, look, but look, I it's it. leavening. It's wonderful. <laughs> and then Gordon Ramsay yells a lot. And that fits my okay. personality. All right, all right, all right. Oh. I'll have you on, you can yell. Anyways. <laughs> oh, that, I got a big chunk of bacon, that's awesome. I know. I, that's so good. Make bacon, bacon with anything. I, I think you need more bacon in this. <laughs> Next time, double your bacon. Three, <laughs> three packages of bacon, <laughs> I think should do it. Thank you so much. Oh, I didn't get to talk a little anything about you at all. Hopes oh. and dreams, hopes and dreams. One sentence and we gotta go. <laughs> Tell me about your hopes and dreams. Um, well, I have three wonderful children. Oh, They're love all, it. all daughters. Oh, that's and awesome. They, they love me so much. And, mm. and I, my favorite part of the, the day mm. is coming home and they just run into my arms oh. and we talk about their day at You're school. You're such a sweet guy. You and talk, I, you talk I am horrible, lucky. but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not just kidding. You don't talk horrible. You eat all my food. No. <laughs> you steal my utensils. No, he's so awesome. And, but, you, uh, and they, they hug you and all. They do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but, you know, raising a family, I, mm -hmm. I also work in filmmaking. I'm mm. a production assistant on features. I write screenplays. Mm -hmm. and uh, My we, goodness, all of you do. do. Yeah, we, I direct. And so it's, it's balancing so cool. film and family. And I love it. This is a great thing. 
My kids, fun fact that my kids are going to be embarrassed about, whenever they do something fun, I say, oh, that was really, really cool. And I pull out my phone and say, can you do it again? And then I'll film it from a bunch of different angles. Oh, they wow. Hate that's it. awesome. They hate it. But <laughs> our family, our home videos are the best ever. Oh, wait, that's it's, a new it's business. It's like this. It's like this. <laughs> this is the best ever. Come back. Watch another. I mean, don't come back right now, but wait until our next episode. But keep watching. It's Cooking Made Easy with June, brought to you by Macy's. Thank you for joining us.